It's not panic buying if you've already seen the food run out elsewhere. The people of Beijing know what happened in the lockdown of Shanghai. The food shortages, the government supplies that when they eventually arrived, arrived rotten. They're looking after themselves because they fear the Chinese Communist Party won't. Three and a half million people were ordered to take PCR tests in Beijing's biggest district, Chaoyang, after a few dozen cases were reported. This has never happened in China's capital at this scale. And late on Monday night, the Beijing government announced that more districts and millions more people would also undergo mass testing and that people should work from home. And the fact that pictures like this from China feel routine is extraordinary when you step back. Two and a half years into the pandemic, we have vaccines, antivirals, a milder, if much more contagious strain of COVID, and China is sticking to mass testing and lockdowns. That approach did serve it well initially, and the government insists it remains the correct one. The rest of the world may not see much to envy. China's stock markets recorded their worst day since March 2020, amid the darkest gloom of the initial Wuhan outbreak. And despite five weeks of severe lockdown, cases in Shanghai are not going down, hovering at around 20,000 a day. 51 people died from COVID-19, a new record for the city. So there is no end in sight for that lockdown. Beijingers fear their own version is just beginning.